The search by foot and air has now expanded to areas surrounding the city of Warren. Officials say they don't believe that Burham has gone further than that. Officials also believe Burham has changed his clothing. They say he has military experience and is a survivalist. It's for that reason they believe Burham may be hiding in the woods. It is challenging, and I can tell you that uh, as recently as uh, just before I walked in here, our members were out conducting wooded searches. I can tell you the terrain is very rugged. It's steep. We're using aviation assets to, to support their operations, but there are a number of places you just have to go on foot uh, if you want to truly search it. And so uh, it is taking a lot of time and effort to search those areas. And again, that's why I mentioned earlier that residents may see our people in an area. We don't want to cause any concern or panic, but we're trying to be thorough and, uh, and follow up on everything. He also says Burham is believed to be armed and dangerous because the last time he was on the run, Burham was able to obtain a firearm. Police blocked off Water Street for hours on Friday night and into Saturday morning near 3rd and 7th Avenues in Warren. A spokesperson for Warren County could not provide a reason for the police activity there, but two on your side saw officers telling residents to stay close to their homes while they conducted a search related to the investigation. There are now multiple rewards being offered for any information leading to Burham's capture. U.S. Marshals are offering a $7,500 reward and the Warren City Crime Stoppers are offering $2,000. Now, if you see Burham, do not approach him. Officers say the best thing to do is call their tip line. That is 814-728-3600. Reporting in Warren, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.